And I like this one. You ready to rock this? Keep in mind that I have a 10-year-old little girl in the front row. I brought her on purpose so you wouldn't say anything really bad. Is that cheating? Do, do, don't I need some slides? I want some slides, please. See what I did there? See? She's really cute, too, by the way. She's lovely. I am cool, actually. When you are. I just stay. Oh, I went the quicker thing. Yeah, we were trying to use one of these yesterday. It's pretty cool. Technology. Oh, I have to do the clicker? Oh, I have to, I'm waiting for it. Okay. How are you doing? My name is Todd Begee. I'm the CEO of a company called Cataboom based in Deep Elm at the Comma Desk. Thank you. And we are a behavioral marketing engagement platform. Um, and what that means is we're trying to change your behavior, which is pretty cool. We actually can do it. Um, and we do it for a lot of big brands, TV shows, and all kinds of things. So we are actually believe that Pavlov had it right. So we're based on Pavlov's behavioral of behavioral conditioning theory with the idea that if we can consistently and instantly ch reward a behavior, we can change that behavior. But what we do is we do it through gamification. And we use that dopamine rush you get from, from games to give you that little good feeling that you really want to do it again. And if we keep doing that over and over when you do that behavior, we'll change it. And we get amazing results. So we actually go do things like retention. Every day you come back to a website or a game or anything, we actually see on average an 80% return rate from the day before, which is pretty amazing. On social engagement, hey, post something to social and we're gonna reward you with gamification. We, we actually see a 50% engagement level. And I can go on and on, but I have five minutes. So on that note, if you really look at what we do is we kind of sit between promotion, which is a one-off, come for the deal, then never come back until there's another deal all the way to loyalty, which is point-based, but delayed gratification. And if you look at people in the digital world, and millennials specifically or less, they say, I do this, what's in it for me? And so they were that instant gratification and what's in it for them. And we give them that good feeling. But more importantly, we actually reach just about any demographic because we look at what this thing called value exchange. And value exchange really looks at, you know, what has real value to that end consumer you're really trying to hit. And so we look at doing that. Um, so that could be for a millennial, that could be, or less, that could be content, unique access and privilege. They actually like that more than money or having a say. Or the older they get, it tends to be around things like money and things like that. And the best part about our games is actually, they're not only to drive behavior, but they actually become a revenue generation tool for a lot of our clients. Like watch this TV show and reward you with something brought to you by Coca-Cola. And it, the rewards become something from Coca-Cola and they make money. We launched a year ago, January, and since then we've already signed blanket deals with NBC, Fox, Warner Brothers, Sony, uh, just about every agency in Dallas. We're doing, working with, we just launched this week with Japan with Philip Morris. And uh, smoking is still alive in Japan, who knew? Uh, we la we're, we're launching a huge deal with GSN, probably our biggest client, believe it or not, to make you come back and play free-to-play games more often. So what is it? It's a platform that allows us to build. The games are already actually built, but you're literally dropping in art, and you can launch campaigns in seven minutes, even legal and everything. That usually used to me take eight to 12 weeks. We can build a game in seven minutes. And that game is all HTML5, so it can live across any customer touch point on any device, mobile, tablet, web, and it can live across Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, inside of a mobile app, just about anywhere, text, email, we don't care. We just want to deliver that reward and reward them for what, for that behavior. And it's really important because, as I said on the panel today, it's really important to, let, to interact with people the way they want to interact with you rather than to dictate the, the medium that they want to work with. So this is just an example of like what our games look like. Inside of our platform, you literally just size the art, drop it in, and go. Pick your, pick your rewards, et cetera. So we are right now in Batman versus Superman, every Walmart, US, Spain, Portugal. We just launched yesterday um, for Pizza Hut um, on their Marvel integration. So every time you buy something off the $5 menu, you get change some cool behind the scenes footage, et cetera. We have all different types of games you can imagine. 
from in slot machines to, which doesn't look like a slot machine, but all the way across the board, different types of games. And data, we give you amazing data on what these people do, who they are, what words they use on social media, all kinds of really cool stuff. The end. Thirty seconds to spare. How to do, Zoe? I got a thumbs up for my daughter, huh? So I get five minutes to be just bombarded. Go for it. All right, let's uh, let's get this reset here. Yes, ma'am. I need people. We're actually. It's, what's funny is we we started off with seven people in January of last year, and we've grown in revenue. From quarter from last for last first quarter of last year to first quarter of this year, our revenues are five hundred and fifty percent increase. But our people are exactly seven and we need good quality people. And so we need to continue to grow. Oh, we need tech people, account managers, and we need I need another salesperson because I've been doing all this. My daughter never sees me. Am I on the road a lot? I'm on the road a lot, aren't I? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, I was wondering, um, how much time or how much of your business goes towards innovating on uh, the games? Constantly. And actually what's interesting is we're going to be opening it up to the public to do it. So we're going to give kind of where people can actually create their own games and put them into our system toward the end of the year. So we'll build our library that way as well. What makes it difficult for other companies to reproduce? Oh, right here over here. Okay, thank you. Uh, what makes it difficult for other companies to reproduce your functionality? So, money is one. Uh, you, that's why we're all here, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, we have actually tried purposely to stay behind the scenes because we went out and captured a lot of markets. So, we pretty much own the, uh, the gaming market. We own the movie market right now. We own the um, different markets. But you're right. Do we have IP? Yes, we do. We do have some patents. Some of our stuff, um, our... We actually have our parent, our strategic investor actually allows us to put in that we can, one of the prizes we can offer is chance to win prizes for a chance to win a million dollars. You can literally say today, I'd like to offer a chance to win a million dollars and it's based on odds rather than guaranteed. We have all different types of stuff in and, and some different IP inside of our platform. Another question? Right over here. I'd like to go back to uh, within your presentation just so you can talk a bit more about the experience from the person who's playing the game Kay. perspective. Um, I'm sure I've played these games before online or interacted with them with the brand in some way, shape, or form, uh -huh. but uh, I'd like to attribute your company to that. So just talk me through the experience. The experience. So it depends on the platform, right? So for example, Twitter. We actually scrape Twitter data real time looking for hashtags. If we see a hashtag, we can actually deliver right through your notifications and reward you with a link to a game mechanic that I just showed you, a simple scratch off to some interactive experience. We try to keep our games very short and sweet. Um, actually, if you go to pizzahut.com slash Captain America, you can see some of those games. Some are very simple trivia games, all the way to scratch offs to throwing things at, you know, fighting each other and things like that. But they're really short, we keep them very simple because really it's about the dopamine, we're getting a good experience, and then it's about the reward is what people are going for. Yeah. So I got a question for you. So you said it takes seven minutes to create a game, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. So how do you gather from, a, say, a, a large corporation that says that I got some content, I wanted my folks to learn about it, or maybe I got a, a customer base that wants to learn this content. So how do you get all that unstructured content available into a game in seven minutes? So uh, again, if you're working within our, 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 our platform, essentially, our game mechanic, you can drop your art and go. Do we every concept end up perfectly like they would do? We do do custom work. It's, it's inevitable, but most of our clients work within the t time frame. For example, we're, I can say this, we're launching with uh, Radio Disney for the Radio Disney Music Awards, right? They called us two days ago and said, we want this, this, and this. We're able to launch it like that. We actually sent them games that were already done within minutes. Now, if they wanted something something specific, like Pizza had, had some things, the Tracy Lock came to us and said, hey, we want some changes, this, this, and this. Then we, we actually had to make some adjustments, but they were very, very small adjustments to the, to the actual game mechanic. 
So you mentioned you've been trying to stay below the radar to gain first mover advantage. Mm -hmm. Do you also have exclusivity agreements with your current partners? Um, well, being that nobody does this right now, literally on the planet, it makes it real easy. <laughs> uh, but uh, yes, I mean, we, we sign agreements a lot of times. They're trying to get us to sign exclusives more than we're asking them right now. Um, we get that more often than not. Anybody? Oh, come on. Yes. Uh, I'm the, the guy who hires the people. I, come on. Uh, <laughs> I mean, come on, I can, I can. Have, so the answer to the question is, we use cloud. We work, we're, we're Amazon Cloud. Gong boy. Um, sorry. Gong. Gong. Oh. <laughs> Just in time, I didn't have to answer that. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you, guys.